and he is trying to remake himself. In more. What does it mean to you, Derek? Uh, everything, man. I'm working my ass off, bro. I, like. When you talk about perseverance, um, that, that's the, the true definition of it. You know, even when a superhero is knocked down, he's still a superhero. When you got it, you got it. Derrick Rose may not be the same superhuman physical force we saw in the Bulls. He may have been mentally holding himself back in recent years. But a lot of people knew D. Rose would be back. Let's see how he's doing it this season. The first thing you'll notice when you watch Rose this year is his pace and patience. He's not the always on go player that he kind of was with the Bulls and even more so on the Knicks. And this isn't a lack of speed, it's just him playing smarter. Was he uncomfortable decelerating and changing speeds due to his injury with the Knicks? Or was it because he made a huge effort to practice this in the offseason? We won't know. But he's transformed from a straight line, high speed driver into a crafty player combining great speed changes and changes of direction. And especially on the pick and roll, he's coming off way more patiently, allowing him to see more options. Watch here how he hesitates as he uses the screen to survey all the options off the screen. He's not as explosive as MVP Rose on these speed changes, that's obvious. But he's gotten better at selling them and using them effectively. And they say that it's always easy to defend one speed, even if that speed is really, really fast. Plus he's way more controlled when he drives into traffic. Right under the bucket. At the rim, he's changed a few things as well. I'm sure you've all noticed that he's not dunking all over guys anymore. That's not hard to see. And that's okay. In fact, he has zero dunks this season, and I think it's a great thing. He's focusing more on finishing efficiently rather than acrobatically. And as you'll see, this helps him land in safe positions which will hopefully help him stay fresh and healthy. He's also very confident in attacking the rim this season. It seems like he's focusing way more on being aggressive and less on not missing. And this confidence is really showing in his entire game. He's playing with so much confidence, especially handling the ball. The spin move, getting some oohs and ahs, Tolliver for three! And when you're confident and you feel like everything's going your way, you're way more aggressive. Plus, stuff like this starts to happen. A lot of dribbling. Now let's real quickly look at some stats to understand what D. Rose is doing this year. First, only 12.8% of Rose's two-point buckets are assisted, which is way lower than even his MVP season. So in other words, he's getting buckets on his own. Plus, he's shooting a career high on threes at 34.6%. His jumper looks way more effortless, and not almost strained like it has in the past few years. He hasn't been jumping as high on his jumpers, and he's been shooting at the top of his jump rather than on the way down. Also, the mid-air turn on his jumper has improved a ton. All this is really contributing to a fundamentally sound jumper that isn't nearly as flat as it has been in the past. Plus, he simply was not hitting or even shooting most of these separation jumpers in the past few years. Watch how tough some of these shots are off the dribble. Over 54% of his shots are past 10 feet, which shows that he's not only shooting jumpers when he can't get to the rim, but also because he really believes he'll knock them down. Finally, he's playing 30 minutes per game. He only played 16.8 last year in 25 games. He's not only getting a chance, but gets to play on a young team that seems to be giving him energy and a role to be confident in. Uh, we got a young group. My job is to come in, be the veteran, and help guys out, and lead by, by example. You see me talking, it's the most I ever talked to, to my teammates in my whole career. At the end of the day, no matter how D. Rose plays the rest of the year, it's inspiring to see him playing so well. So we'll definitely keep an eye on him and keep y'all updated. Thanks for watching.